Eric, you took over a Kutztown team that was 7-30 and 30 last year. You were 7-4 and four this season before this, the season was halted. What was kind of the difference in the turnaround for this team in that short amount of time? Well, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, you know, not being there the year before and kind of seeing some of the things. I know there were some, uh, some injuries and whatnot that happened, obviously, uh, the year previously. But uh, since getting in in August with the guys and getting a chance to sit down and, and uh, kind of talk about what we wanted to do from a philosophy standpoint to uh, trying to change some things up and, and kind of implement some things as this coaching staff that we wanted to do, guys just kind of bought in. They were committed. You know, they worked. You know, and it wasn't just uh, on the field. It was – in the classroom, is in the weight room, and in, in all areas of, of what they do. So uh, guys just, they really bought in. They were, you know, obviously when I got there, uh, they were open to listen to what changes we had in mind. And, and like I said, they, they embraced it and, and like I said, kind of ran with it in the fall. And, and obviously on our end as coaches, um, we pushed them. You know, you have to push them, obviously, especially early on. Um, we, like I said, we pushed them and the guys embraced it and, and kind of ran with it. You spent a long time as a college assistant coach in your career. What led you to have interest in the Kutztown job? Well, I think there's a lot of things, really. Um, one, as a coach, and when you get into it, at least for me, I'm from a family of coaches, uh, some point down the line, uh, we all want to be head coaches and have that opportunity. Uh, but the opportunity to come to Pennsylvania, come back to Pennsylvania, where I'm from, um, in, a, in a place that, that I obviously love, uh, Kutztown being an area that I have some familiarity with, um, and I know that around that area, it's a great pocket of baseball. It's a great pocket of baseball around Kutztown. You have obviously the Allentown, the Reading, to Harrisburg, to Philly, uh, so much so close to you. Uh, the tradition uh, of Kutztown, uh, you look at the past and, and there's been so many great coaches and great players that have come through there. So all those things together, you know, for me, it, when it came open, I was excited to, you know, throw my name in a hat and see what happened. You mentioned a philosophy, and in building a program, you have to have that. What is your philosophy to make things work at Kutztown? Sure, I think it's simple. I mean, uh, for us, we are going to be a very, very blue-collar uh, group. Um, we're going to go out and get guys that are blue-collar guys that are going to work hard, period, get after it. We want guys that are going to work hard in the classroom, in the weight room, and on the baseball field. Uh, so for us, and, and the way we're looking at our guys and implementing things and uh, the kids that we're recruiting, it's very, very simple. When the kids come in our office and we sit down with these recruits, it's it's very, very simple. Uh, if you're not a worker, if you're not blue collar, if you don't want to get after it, this is probably not the place for you. If you are that, this is the place for you because we're going to get after it. We're going to work. Uh, and our whole thing is to outwork everybody. You brought up where Kutztown is located, and it's a strong region baseball-wise. How important is it for you to recruit in your own backyard? I think it's important wherever you are, right? I think it starts at home, plain and simple. Uh, and if you can recruit at a high level in your area and have success going after those kids, those kids are going to continue to want to come to your program. Um, and it's very, very important. You, you, you start at home, you know. And like I said, we are in such a great pocket uh, with great baseball in our area uh, that obviously it's a major benefit for us. We don't have to go too far from Kutztown to see great players. And we've had a lot of success uh, within the area. Um, in the past and currently, and, uh, you know, for us to, to get to where or back to where we want to be, we've got to be very successful in that pocket right around Kutztown. As part of that seven and four start, you had a no hitter in there. You had some kids that were off to great starts individually. How much momentum can you build off of this shortened season heading into hopefully the fall of this year? Sure. I think you can build on it. I mean, you know, for our guys, I think you could see our guys going into the year as we got into some games, their confidence level was rising, right? They felt felt good about themselves in the start. And again, like we talked about, um, we had a few games I'd love to have back, you know, opportunities that, that uh, you know, we look back and, and next year hopefully we grow and those those other opportunities that we had that maybe we didn't cash in that we cash in on. But uh, I think it's, for us, it's it's obviously the, the first step. The guys felt like they had worked hard. Uh, they had taken some steps on and off the field. Uh, and the results early on were there for them, for a lot of guys that, that put in that time, um, and they saw the results and all their hard work kind of paying off. So I think uh, they're eager to get after the fall and kind of see where they can go. Kutztown's had a, a great tradition over the years. Ryan Vogelsong had a great Major League career, World Series champ and all-star. You've seen this team go to the Division II College World Series on a couple of occasions. How close do you feel you are to getting this, this program back to where it once was? Sure. And that's a great question. That's a tough one. Um, you know, I think uh, for us, we're just going to keep building. We're going to keep working uh, to get the best players in here 
that are obviously that that are dedicated and care about Kutztown, the program, and, and making it better. Um, but I think we we've you know taken a step forward here last year. Um, and obviously, like you mentioned, there's some great players that have come through here, some great coaches, some great uh, individual success, some great team success. And um, we're no question trying to get right back to where uh, this program has been before. You know, it's not uncharted water, which is a great thing. We do have such great tradition, which I think uh, is helping us as we go out and talk to some of these kids and, uh, you know, obviously gather some interest in, in the program and uh, getting those guys, like I said, in that pocket here. But how close are we? I think time will tell. You know, I don't. I don't think for me, especially being the first year in the PSAC last year, and unfortunately not getting a chance to play uh, any conference games for me to completely know uh, how close we are to that. But I, I know that our guys are working their butts off. Uh, they're good kids. Uh, they're taking care of business, and they're hungry. Well, as a former mediocre Golden Bear, we wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it.